Good morning, world. Hello, everyone, everywhere. Pastor Robert Thibodeau here with another session of prayer 2021 for today, which is December 13th. Our scripture reading for today comes from Psalms 109, verse 7. When he is tried, let him be found guilty. May his own prayers condemn him. Let's go to the Lord with a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the opportunity to pray to the Most High God this day. The opportunity to fellowship with you, with Jesus, with the Holy Spirit, all through your word. Spending time in your word is spending time with you. And Father, we pray for that fellowship time to be extended to those who may not know Jesus right now as their Savior, but that this broadcast, as it goes throughout the world, through the power of the internet, touching people's hearts, changing their lives all over the face of this planet, someone, somewhere, may have that fellowship this day and receive Jesus as their Savior. That's our prayer this day, and we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now, we've been studying how your own words can nullify or kill the effectiveness of your prayer life. This is not just dealing with you, but with those whom you ask to pray for uh, or pray with you or that you're praying for as well. Your own words can overcome the well-intentioned faith of even spiritual prayer giants who are praying for you. Amen. That is how effective your very own words are. They're either used for your benefit or used for your demise. The choice really is yours. It comes down to what comes out of your own mouth that matters the most. And Jesus said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So if negativity, if doubt, if unbelief is coming out of your mouth, guess what? That's what's in your heart, not faith. Uh, don't shut me down when I'm preaching good. You need to add to your prayers by speaking only faith-filled words. How do you do that? By speaking scripture over your prayers, over your life, over, and speaking the scriptures that support your prayer requests. I've been telling you this all year long. You must use the word of God in your prayers. Ah, eh, Brother Bob, you say that in every program just about. Well, if you want, if, if you would start doing it, I could move on to something else, right? But because you won't, because you don't want to be labeled as one of them name it and claim it, blab it and grab it people, you'd rather just die in your misery, poverty or whatever, so you'll look good at your funeral. That's basically all it's coming down to. Uh, don't look at me in that tone of voice. I can hear you through this camera. Praise God. But I, I know that offends a lot of people out there, especially those that are of a couple denominational sects. But get over it, folks. This is real life and death stuff that we're talking about here. What you say matters. Don't believe me? All right. Here's what Jesus had to say about what you say. Mark 11, 22, 23, and 24. Have faith in God, Jesus answered. Truly, Truly, Jesus say this, truly, I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in their hearts, but believes that what they say will happen, it'll be done for them. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe you have received it and it will be yours. Notice it doesn't say, Jesus did not say, whatever you ask for in prayer, when you receive it, then you can believe it and thank me for it because it's yours. No, it says, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe you have received it. That's already happened. You have already received it. And then he says, and it will be yours. Believe you have already received it, and then it will be yours. Future. But you believe you have received it now, and then future, it will be yours. Well, of course, Brother Bob. Why? Let me ask you this. If Jesus was sitting here in the same room with you right now, and he said this is what you need to do to get your prayers answered, guaranteed, you need to pray standing up, and that shows him you're serious and he'll do it. Would you do it? Would you pray from that moment forward, every one of your prayers while standing up? If Jesus sat here personally and said that to you, yeah, yeah, sure, of course, Brother Bob, why? Because why would you do that? Why would you pray standing up? Well, Jesus told me that's what I needed to do, and he should know. I mean, his word is truth. Amen. Okay, Mark 11, 22, 23, and 24 tells you what Jesus said you should do. Look at verse 24 again. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, 
believe you have received it, and it will be yours. Would Jesus lie to you? If not, then why won't you do this one verse in your prayer life? And we'll take it up here again tomorrow. Praise God. Let's pray. Father, we pray for the spiritual wisdom and the spiritual strength through the power of the Holy Spirit working in our lives to just do what the Bible says to do. To just do what Jesus said to do. Believe we receive it when we pray for it. And then we shall have it. Just believe it is already done. Father, help us to spread this message. Help us to walk this walk and talk this talk. Because all things are possible to him who believes. And to you, Father. Oh, Father God, we give you honor, glory, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Do me a favor. Leave a comment rating down below. Share this one out on social media far and wide. Jump on over on iTunes. Leave us a comment and rating there. All in an effort to get the word out. Amen. Be sure to visit our website, podcastforchrist.com. Take a look around there. Download those free resources. Till next time, it's Pastor Bob reminding you again, 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, Living Bible, it says, always keep on praying. Be blessed, folks. Talk to you tomorrow.